In today's video, we're going to create a link aggregation group between an edge switch 24 light and a unified eight port 150 watt switch. Hi, I'm Tony. And if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'll be sharing another little bonus tip. That being said, let's head on over to the computer. So let's get started by asking the question, what is link aggregation? According to Wikipedia in computer networking, the term link aggregation refers to various methods of combining, aggregating multiple network connections in parallel in order to increase throughput beyond what a single connection could sustain and to provide redundancy in case one of the links should fail. So in this video, we're going to combine a Unify 8 port 150 watt switch to an edge switch 24 light. We're going to use ports seven and eight on the Unify switch and ports 21 and 23 on the edge switch. Link aggregation will combine both of these individual links into one combined link. In the event that one of the links should fail, we'll still maintain connectivity between the two switches. That being said, let's get started with the process. Okay guys, I'm signed into my Edge Switch 24 Lite. I'm using the new UI and I'm running the latest firmware, version 1.9.1, as of the date of this recording. You can see the total throughput and the active ports, but there's not much going on on this switch with the exception of port 21, which is linked over to the Unify 8 port 150 watt switch over here on port seven. If we look down at port 21, you can see we have some statistics and some traffic. We have a gigabit link to the other switch. And if we come all the way over to the right, you can see we have plus lag. So we're gonna create the link aggregation group on the edge side of things first. So we're gonna do that by clicking on port 21 where it says plus lag. And we have six lag groups we can choose from. You could also add more, but we're gonna pick lag group one, the dynamic group. And we just added that to port 21. Actually, I should say we just added port 21 to lag group one. We're gonna do the same thing to port 23. We're gonna come over, even though it's not plugged in yet, we're gonna click on plus lag, which is basically add to the lag group. We're gonna click on lag group one, and now we've added port 23. So now we have port 21 and port 23 added to the lag group. Now, we're not done yet with the configuration. We're done on the edge side of things for now, but we're gonna hop on over to the Unify side of things. And we're not done with creating the link aggregation group just yet, because we haven't done the configuration on the Unify side. Before we do that, I'm just going to plug in a cable now from port eight on the Unify switch over to port 23 on the edge switch. And you'll see that the link will come up, but it'll immediately be blocked because spanning tree is going to protect the network and prevent a network loop. So it's not going to allow traffic to pass on that second port or that second link until we create the link aggregation group. So that's the importance of having the lag. So let me go ahead and plug in that cable now and you should see port eight light up shortly thereafter. Okay guys, so now you can see port eight is lit up, but it does have a little circle with a line going through it. And if I hover over it, you can see that the status is blocked. That being said, let's go ahead and finish the link aggregation group configuration. So I'm gonna come down to port seven and I'm gonna click on the edit pencil and one of the first things you have to do is make sure you have the switch port profile set to the same on both switches. So we're going to leave this set to all because it's the same on the other side. We're going to come down to profile overrides and we're going to change the operation from switching to aggregate. And we're just going to go with port seven and port eight. Now you can see I have the option of going all the way up to port 10, but that's fine. We're just going to use the two ports for now. So we're going to come down and we're going to go ahead and say, apply. Now the switch is provisioning. Once the switch is done provisioning, 
you should see a connect status up here and then we should see the block status of port 8 disappear and when that disappears we should have a functioning link aggregation group using ports 7 and 8 on the unify side and ports 21 and 23 on the edge side okay so you can see it's disappeared let's go back over to the edge side and now you can see that we have statistics and traffic flowing on both ports Okay guys, so you see it's that simple to create a link aggregation group, a dynamic link aggregation group between the edge switch and the unify switch. Now it's time for the bonus tip that I promised. So let's hop over to the legacy side of the edge switch. In other words, the more common older interface. Okay, here's the interface that probably most of you prefer and are more accustomed to. If we click on the port channel tab, and you'll notice right next to port channel, it says LAG. Link aggregation groups are also known as port channels. So let's click on this tab. And you can see here, actually, we're confirming the link aggregation group that we set up in the previous steps. Here's the lag one, it's dynamic. You can see spanning tree is enabled. Right here, you see link state, and the status is up. And then if you look over here, you have ports 21 and ports 23 included as members of this group. So if you prefer to work in this interface and wanted to create a link aggregation group, you can do it on the port channel tab. Let me show you how. So since we already have one up and running, let's create another link aggregation group. At least I'll show you the edge side of things. Let's just say we wanted to now link the edge router to a different switch. Well, we would just select the link aggregation group that we want, come over and click on edit. You can give the port channel a name here if you want. So test link two for now, that's fine. We can give it a description. I would just leave these settings here as the default. And then you would just simply come over to the port list on the left side and just add the ports that you want. over to the member side of things. And you can see here, I added ports one, two, three, and four. And if I were to submit this, now you can see here in link aggregation group two, we have ports one, two, three, and four. Now notice the status is down. That's because we have not configured the unify side of things. And I'm not gonna do that at this point, but this was just the bonus tip to show you how easy it is to create the link aggregation group in the legacy side of things as well. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And thanks guys for using those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.